Hello everyone, welcome to Excel Skills for Business and Intermediate 1. So basically in Intermediate 1 we are going to solve the week 1. So that's a little bit harder uh, than the basic or essential. But you will get to know or become handy. This will become handy if you go through the lecture videos. And you know as well as Macquarie University is offering you a great initiative. So I think we should go through every single question as how as I went through. So first of all, a multiple worksheet. So we're going to see what multiple worksheet quiz has. Uh, so first of all, first question, which of the following options allow us to move a worksheet in a workbook? So basically you need to left, uh, left click to drag and drop the worksheet tab into the desired position. You can just left click and drag and drop. That's so easy. Okay. Second, uh, okay, so there's multiple options. So we're going for the second one. Uh, in, home tab, in home tab, you will get format and move or copy paste the sheet. And you can also right click on the worksheet tab and then select move and copy. So there's basically three options you can do. Uh, if you delete a sheet by mistake, you can undo or press Ctrl plus Z. Sorry, that's not totally true. You can do everything. Uh, you can undo every single thing by Ctrl Z, but that's not possible, at least in this Excel. Uh, so you need to do it again, okay? So when you click on plus button, what uh, will happen next? A new worksheet will be added uh, to the right of the sheet view. How do you make a copy of existing worksheet? Just press Ctrl and left click, drag and release. Okay, that's more easier. Which of the following is true of the scenario shown below? Sheet 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so in uh, if I change something on sheet 1, the same change will be applied to sheet 3 and 5 as they are hyperlinked. Okay, so that's all about multiple worksheets. So we're going to our next, uh, which is basically about 3D formulas. Yes, 3D formulas. So where's 3D formulas? Let's look into this. Uh, take a close look at the screenshot below, carefully uh, reading out the names one by one. Okay, so sheet 1, 2, 3, and deal 6. When you have six sheets in your workbook, all of them have the value 200 in cell 1 and all other cells are empty. Which of the following formulas will give you the answer of 800? You can just put sum sheet 1 is to sheet 5, exclamation mark A1. Okay, so this will give you a, because A1 is a value that is 200 and you want to copy this from sheet 1 to 5 from sheet 6. That's it. Okay, so take a close look at the screenshot above, carefully reading out the names one by one, one to six. Uh, for the scenario above, the following formulas will yield the same answer as each other. Okay, so basically you need to equal sum sheet two is to five, and again the same thing you need to do. And then sheet exclamation mark A1 plus sheet exclamation mark A1. So, okay, so in every single sheet, you need to copy the value A1. Okay, so yes, this will show you this result. Uh, yes, we spot on the first formula uses the sum function to create a 3D formula and the second formula achieves the same result but without using a function okay okay number three sheet one to six again take a close look at the screenshot above carefully reading out one the name one by one so based on the scenario above the formula is entered equal to sum sheet one is to sheet four one to four uh, in a word and a one okay so if we move to sheet five just after sheet one the formula will give a different result both the formula will not give a different result it will be copied from one to four that's it for 3D formula Okay, so we are going to our next quiz, which is basically about linking workbooks, how to link one workbook with another. So when you link a cell in a different workbook, your reference will contain several components. What will the reference look like when you link to a such cell as R28 on the worksheet expenses in a file named facility expenses 2017 XLX? So basically you need to do this third bracket, uh, exclamation mark. Okay, so first of all, go to a quotation mark, uh, facility expenses 2017 and the uh, bracket ends, expenses, exclamation mark ends and okay so quote ends then exclamatory mark and r28 and just press f4 button and it will be like this okay so there's just the rate of these expenses okay so what tool do you use to display the four work okay so that's for uh, that we call view tape and arrange all as type for the for making a consolidate among them how to how would we link workbooks we put values from one or more workbooks and work with them in a, one of those workbooks or work with them in a separate workbook. That's called linking, basically. Okay, so once you have created links within workbooks, they will remain intact and continue to work even if you move the location of any of your files, which is totally wrong, I mean, false. So if you move this file, your link will be destroyed. Okay, so again, you need to put the link. Okay, so next, uh, we are doing the consolidating by position, which is one of the main tasks in this week. So how do we access consolidate feature? Navigate data tab and then data tools. Here we'll find uh, consolidate. When using the consolidate feature, you can use a sum function, false. Okay, you can, I can't only use sum function, okay. I need to consolidate all from all the workbooks. Uh, which sentence is correct about consolidate? When you are linking to a data source, then create a link, create link to a data source. Check box, should be tick, consolidating dialog box. If you click on this option, then it will have the consolidate. Okay, so you can undo consolidation with links, false, you can't undo this. You just need to delete things. Okay, so basically now we are going to consolidate by reference. 
and the quizzes about this. So basically first question, which is the difference between consolidating by category, reference and consolidating by position. Okay, so there is two things. One is category and other is position. Okay, so consolidating by position assumes that the data is being consolidated in multiple workbooks has the same position in different spreadsheets. However, consolidating by category looks for the data to be consolidated by a reference or to a parameter. Number two question. Chain has data in different workbooks, then have column headings in different positions. He wishes to consolidate the data, what is your advice? Excel can also be used to consolidate by reference when the column headings are different. Chain must just click or tick the top row option if he wants to. Okay, you can also uh, select the left row. There. That's all up to you. Okay, so basically we're heading to the final grid of the assignment. So guys, be ready. And here is your assessment. So, okay, I'm going to show you the feedback if you want to. Okay, so first question. You have downloaded all okay. So, I'm, I've downloaded as you can see, I've downloaded all of them. So, uh, basically, first question open the workbook C2 W1 assessment of cell C. Okay, so I'm going to open this in the Q1 summary. Click in cell 5. Okay, I think as I have already did it. Okay, so cell 5, there was nothing actually. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Oh, okay, I'm going to cross this. Don't say. And now I'm going to open this again. Okay, so basically, what you need to do, uh, open the workbook zero and go to Q1 summary. And here in the C5, right? In C5 cell, and use the 3D formula. Okay, so uh, for the cells item 3, 2, 4, 3. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I have done it. So basically, put an uh, equal, and then you need to go to January, uh, look for 3, 2, 4, 3, right? Quantity, and then shift plus, so we'll go to February. And again click quantity of the 3 to 4 3 shift plus and then again go to march and then press the quantity enter okay sir here as you can see 17 and you can also use fill handle for this as well okay so the first question is 3 to 4 3 how much commission did dr on this item so okay so how much commission did earn 3 to 4 3 right 81.49 dollar so just copy paste it here that's your answer okay so copy the formulas from c5 to c10 using fill handle what is d's total commission and this is three thousand three hundred fifty six point four two dollar oh that's it just copy and paste it here also there's a ready made thing now question number three open c2 week one of sales let me in and in this you need to do what rest okay sales let me in okay so this is the sales limit so what we need to do go again okay so we need to look that there's f4 which cell is totally empty okay so f4 where is f4 yes this is totally empty so what can i do right now so you need to open the sales summary workbook and go to the rates. So okay, so file open. Where is it? My sales summary. Yeah, sales summary. And now go to rates. And okay, so first of all, you need to go to there and then press equal or something <laughs> equal. And then come here and press the commission rate. Enter. That's it. Done. Okay. Hmm. Done. Q1 summary. Okay, Lenin. So the question is. Okay, so the question is, what is the sale in return Q1 summary? What is the updated total commission? Okay, so went there. What is the updated total commission? $7,908.61. Just copy and paste it there. That's your answer. Number four, open CW, uh, C2W1 of Annesha. Okay, where is Annesha? Okay, is there Annesha? Yes, Annesha. Thank you. Okay, so there is some problem as I told you because if you read the question then you will find what's the problem there is a broken link right so they are telling me to update the broken link okay so update the broken link continue okay so now what you need to do is the link will need to be updated so let's move so first of all go to data and then you see the commission rate is 5.78 percent which is not correct for all the products so just press equal and went to total and then press commission rate enter done now look at the q1 summary that's changed Okay, so the question. Okay, so what is after updating the link with Onnesha's Q1 commission? What is your uh, Onnesha's Q1 commission? Okay, so what is Onnesha's Q1 commission? Fourteen thousand seven hundred ninety-three dollar nineteen cents. Okay, so that's it. Right now, you copy and paste it. Okay, so now that, that that's a five and the last one. So we need to consolidate. So for consolidating, uh, you need to look how to consolidate, and they also mentioned to you that you need to consolidate the category, right? Different products. So when to give one summary and then what you need to do just search here arrange okay so press arrange all right okay okay so here we can see all the but you can't see anything so what we can do 
just make the zoom same okay so that's a little bit zoomed in okay so zoomed out so now what you can do okay so we can also make the consolidate from here okay so summary data and data tools and now consolidate okay so for consolidating what you need to do first of all select a category so i will start with d where is d yes here are you d so first select the yeah, workbook and then just drag this to the total cells okay add okay so again now i'm going to do for lemmings okay so let me again item code no i will not follow the item code okay so went down 7900 and just add again okay so that's done now we are going for this of nisha okay so again 3 to 4 5 14793 and now we just need to press left column and just press okay and now you can see the magic just press it okay so here's all the thing is consolidated so now what uh, we should go to the question what is the question uh what is the total sales figure of the item code 3256 where is 3256 search for 3256 and here you are 3256 so what is the sales figure $35,671 and just copy and paste it here $25.671 you can see there is nothing uh after the decimal because you should look at this please don't use decimal commas and symbol you must not forget to delete your decimal values so that's it and thank you for staying with us and i hope you will complete it the week one so there is a long break as i was sick for a few days hope you will get your week two soon uh, and i will start updating the intermediate one also and thanks for supporting me and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe